Right, so continuing where we left off, uh, I have re I've turned the blade around on the on the edger, so now the, the nylocks are sticking outwards. Uh, that gives us plenty of clearance. Um, blade will happily go up and down there without touching. Uh, so today's video, we're going to uh, install the handlebars, the handlebar grips, uh, the grip for the height adjuster. Uh, we're going to put the stickers on the side cover. Uh, and we'll put the throttle cable and throttle adjuster onto the handlebars once we've got that. So this is all pretty self-explanatory. Uh, there's not a great deal to it. So uh, I'm just going to film this. I'm not going to talk too much. So here we go. So I will stop and say that I've uh, purchased this sticker from SB Fabrications and Parts, so George. He does, uh, I buy a lot of his gear and basically he does an excellent job. This particular sticker, um, you can see that uh, between, between all the letters and the background is actually clear. Uh, so when I stick this on here, I'm not going to get a different colour green. I'm going to get the same green that I've actually painted the side cover with. Um, specifically sought this sticker because I knew that George does it like that. Uh, I think that's uh, I think that's an exceptional way. There are other stickers uh, that do come with the green background in here. Uh, however, I think um, I think that's sort of Mitch, match, Mitch matching the colours. I, I just don't like it. So SB Fabrication and Parts, uh, they do an excellent job. I've purchased. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. Uh, I've purchased this with my own money. Um, I just, I highly recommend his gear, so little shout out to George. Uh, also note that this sticker here says danger, keep hands clear of uh, guard opening. So this, this goes on the back of the guard, so when you're standing up there using the machine, you're constantly looking at that sticker. Excellent sticker. It really looks a part, I reckon that sets the motor off. So that's good. That's excellent. Okay, so I'm going to install the handlebars now. Now, before I even put the handlebars on there, I'm going to get my throttle cable. Uh, I've still got it attached to my throttle uh, controller. However, I'm going to I'm going to uh, install the uh, throttle cable onto the engine. Uh, now, I'm going to do this before I bolt it onto the mower. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier, and I'm also going to take the uh, air filter off. Uh, that'll give me the room to just slip that on there. Not a drama, I don't have to pull everything apart to do it. Uh, I can do that up later. Once I've got it on there, I'll feed the, the cable so it goes out and around under the mower and up to the handlebars up here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um,
So you can see by removing the air filter, it gives you the room just to slip that cable onto the, uh, the correct position there. Uh, and you've got your tightening uh, bolt up here. So that's just loose currently. Uh, I'm going to continue installing the uh, cable. So the cable's got a uh, holder. This goes underneath the engine bolt. Um, so I'm going to quickly pop that under there. It sits on top of the engine, uh, not underneath between the frame and the engine. So it sits on top of the engine bolt. Uh, and then it will continue up to the handlebars. Uh, so when installing the handlebars, you'll see that the handlebars have a, a, a hole at the top. So that hole is where the throttle controller mounts. One side's got a divot, uh, the other side is just flat. So the divot has to be pointing upwards. So when you put your throttle ca uh, controller on, it'll mount like this. The throttle controller will sit on top of that divot. You won't even see the divot. Uh, and then you'll have a um, nut and washer on the other side. So it's quite simple. The, the star and the bolt, so that goes through this hole here and then you've just got a star. So that just makes it easier. Uh, you can actually fold the handlebars down, similar to a Model 45. Um, it's just a quick release, I suppose, is what you could call that. Uh, and then on the actual handlebars themselves, the uh, Model 38 came out with these brass clips. Uh, Scott Bonner Model 45 also has these. Uh, and that will just go on the handlebar up here and there's a small uh, sort of cutout so that's where the uh, throttle cable sits it just holds it all nicely um, nice and tight on the machine so quick and easy Okay guys, there you have it. So we are absolutely complete now with this build. So she's all together. Um, stickers are on, covers are on. Light adjuster works just fine. It's just a matter of putting some fuel in it and going and giving it a test. Uh, so when we test it, what I'll be looking for is how this uh, throttle cable is set up. So currently we're on stop uh, and I can see that we're already out a little bit. So that throttle cable has to go in just a fraction. So basically how I knew that is the throttle cable itself in the stop position, this lever here touches, there's a small tiny piece of uh, brass down here. So that uh, basically grounds the uh, spark plug out. Uh, so when you, when you, put the throttle into off, we want that full extended out so we're touching that brass uh, lever there. Alright, so apologise about the grass, it's a uh, renovation season um, and as you can see I've just done a renovation so uh, the sand everywhere so it's not the greatest time to be uh, doing an edger um, nonetheless can't not use it so I'm gonna run an edge down here uh, hopefully it starts first pull and we don't have any problems so fingers crossed
So there you have it. Uh, that's basically the end of the build. We've got no more. We've got no problems with cutting. As you can see, the edge is uh, exceptional. Um, it's probably going to take a bit of time for me to get used to using it. Um, it's a bit sketchy at first, but uh, that'll come with time. So hopefully you've liked this series. Uh, if you have, uh, please like and subscribe.